So Donald Trump just came out saying that he will not be campaigning in support of a national abortion ban. Um, and here's the thing, like, if you truly believe that abortion is killing babies, then how can you possibly vote for someone who is saying, yeah, it's, it's okay if states, if the politicians or the people in any given state want to kill babies, I'm cool with that. Because that's basically what Donald Trump is saying. Um, and he's doing this because it's politically expedient to him. It's not likely that him coming out in support of an abortion ban is going to get him elected. So he's made the political calculus that he will allow baby killing on his watch. Um, if that's what any given state politicians or the people in that state want, he will allow that to happen on his watch. And if you truly believe that abortion is killing a child, how can you then vote for somebody who's saying that, you know, I'm willing to compromise on this issue if it's, uh, if it's going to have a positive impact on my own political fortunes? Like, we're not talking about like, you know, should we forgive student loans or, you know, should we, you know, do this or, or that, you know, as far as the budget. We're talking about literally killing babies if you in fact believe that abortion kills babies. Um, how can you possibly stand for a compromise on such an issue? Um, like, I can't even imagine how you would just like sit by and let that happen. Um, and clearly Donald Trump just sees it as like, what's good for me politically. He doesn't see it in, as like a moral black and white issue as people who oppose abortion normally would. So that's what I'm thinking here is like, how can you possibly then vote for someone like that? whose view on the issue is so, so diametrically opposed to your own view on the issue. Uh, such an issue as that, an issue that literally involves the taking of innocent unborn lives.